Hello everybody. In the previous video, part 1, we discussed about expressing agreement and disagreement. Here in this video, we will be discussing about expressing an opinion and also how to interrupt different expressions related to that. So, expressing an opinion is very important in the context of conversations as well as meetings and different kind of decision making which we have to do as we discuss with people. Um, so, here when we take a look, I believe, I believe that is the best way of doing something. I believe this can help us find a good solution. So, different points which you feel can be useful. You can start with I believe. I think this will be effective in getting the best result in current circumstances. So, I believe is what you feel strongly about. I think is your thought, you, your view generally. So, pretty much similar, but two different ways of expressing that. I would say that, so that's basically my opinion is that, or I think this is something useful to look at. That is why that expression is used. In my opinion, so when you start with in my opinion, you are basically stressing that this is your opinion. And when we discuss, we can look at other possibilities. Uh, it is just an opinion. So I'm not really a hundred percent saying this is the best way of doing it. This could be one way of looking at things. So that is a very nice way of uh, presenting that aspect. As far as I know, this can help us get the best results. So, as far as I know, the beauty of that expression is that it is showing that there is a limit to what we understand or there is a limit to the information which is currently available with us. So, if there is new information, if there is something new which we need to look at, you know, we can really look at that also. So, that is the beauty of that expression. I am sure, I am very sure that this will get the best result. I am sure what Vijay is saying uh, can uh, really uh, be very useful uh, for our team. So, you know, it is like, you know, putting your weight behind something, no doubt. So, eliminating any amount of doubt connected with what you are going to say after that. I am not quite sure. So, you are going to say something which is not 100% uh, sure, which can have some inaccuracy. So, you are indicating that, but you are saying it because it could be useful, because it can contribute to the discussion, whatever you're going to say after that. We believe the matter closed. So, here it is indicating that there is no further discussion required. Hmm? We don't need to look at that again. That is a matter which we have decided. Hmm? Don't waste time talking about it and or it can open up new problems if we again go into it. So, that is why uh, this is a nice expression. We believe the matter closed in a discussion floor or in a meeting. That's all very well, but what you are saying has a point, but there is a problem. That is what the expression is trying to get at. From our company's point of view, it is not quite justified. So, our company policy or organization's requirement is different. So, that point is being put forward here. I am afraid I can't give you a definite answer yet. Mm, I cannot yet decide or I don't have the authority to give you a final answer. That is the uh, idea or expression there. That's an unhelpful way of looking at the problem. That's not going to help us. It is definitely a point, but that's not going to help us solve the problem or help us deal with the situation. I don't think we can come to an agreement. So, an agreement doesn't look possible. I don't think it's a helpful way of looking at the problem. So, it is basically different ways of saying we are not really doing our best to arrive at a uh, con conclusion or a solution and we have to do things slightly differently. Now, let's take a look at some of the ways in which we can interrupt a person or an important discussion and put in our uh, quick point of view. First one is, sorry, I think it's important to look at this as well. So, that sorry of uh, formal way of uh, interrupting can really be useful as a quick uh, way of putting something in. Then there is the standard uh, format, excuse me, I think we should look at this. Hmm? That's also something which can be used formally. 
informally these two options are there mm, wait a minute mm, hold on a second so that these are two ways in which we can uh, put in our word or get other people's attention in an informal kind of discussion situation. So I hope you will uh, watch this video again if you have any doubt and ask me questions through the comment section. Thank you. It's been wonderful talking to you and I hope to see you again in part 3.